Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds. So we have a big update for those of you who have been following our videos. This will make even more sense, but we'll explain it to you. We had an experimental colony that washed a 94 on an alcohol wash. That's over a 30% infestation rate. That means over one out of every three bees had a mite on it, and it was getting eaten. And then that could double in a brood cycle. That's an insane mite load. And what I noticed with the colony is that it was having some problems raising brood. The bees just the bees just didn't look right. When there's a high infestation rate, they don't look as shiny. They're not as active. It, it just it's just like us when something's wrong with our bodies and we're sick or we have brain fog. We just don't act as efficiently. And when you have high varora mite levels in there, even before they get real bad, your bees just the, the efficiency numbers start dropping. But this right here is a sticky board. This was the drop after the fourth round of treatment with oxalic acid vapor. But I've got good news because I just did an alcohol wash. This is three days after the fourth round of treatment. Now I'm going to do a fifth round because I am a firm believer, especially if the mites are really high, that you need to do five rounds in a 21 to 24 day period. Not everybody agrees with that, but I believe in crushing the varora mite souls in the process. I mean, no mercy whatsoever. Our philosophy around here is when in doubt, nuke them out. But we really don't like to be in doubt either. And that's why we use these right here. I don't really like the fact that we have to sacrifice 300 bees, but it's the most accurate way for us to know what the varora levels are. And we need our colonies to go into winter healthy and coming out thriving. And even though we have to sacrifice a few bees, it really doesn't do a whole lot to the colony because the queen... She can, a good queen with a healthy colony will lay 1,500 eggs in a day. So there's 300 bees in here. I really like using this type right here. You can make some homemade ones. I'm going to try to do a video on that in the future, but if you're needing one right now, um, I'll leave a link below where Laurel and I got the ones that we both use, and we really like um, being able to use these because if we use these things, it's very uniform with what a lot of the other beekeepers we know who are testing, they're, they're using these as well. And I, I just I like to do that. What are you guys doing on my... That, that veil is almost 17 years old. These cats think they own everything. That's, that's why I'm a dog person. I'm not even really that. I'm a bee person. The bees just go off and do their own thing. But anyways, this is a pretty big update. Now, just because we did this alcohol wash test does not mean we're done. Oh, oh no. We're still... We had a 6 on this test. That still means we have a 2% infestation rate. We still have 2 months of brood rearing. That means by the time we get into winter, if they double every brood cycle, 21 days, we, we can expect to at least go from 2% to 4%, 4% to 8%. That's not good. So this, while it is a step in the right direction because 2% is a heck of a lot lower than 30%, there's another thing we have to think about. I have been doing these treatments every four days. So this is, this is a couple days after treatment four. So we haven't covered the whole 21 day brood cycle of the worker bee. Now there's no drones in there. They're too weak to be raising drones right now. And so all the bees that are gonna be hatching out here in the next few days until the end of that 21 day treatment cycle, they could be loaded down with mites. We could treat them with oxalic acid vapor as those bees are emerging, and we could get another drop that's almost this high. And that is why I am a fan of when you start your treatments, you hammer them. The oxalic acid vapor stresses the bees a little bit, but in comparison to the mites, it is nothing. It is nothing whatsoever because the, the oxalic acid vapor is more of an irritation where the varroa mites will inject them with viruses and literally steal the nutrition out of your bee's body and then dive into a cell, feed on the next generation, and shorten their lifespan by a couple weeks. So these, these boogers are such a pain. So if you have any comments or questions on what we've done, we've just done oxalic acid vapor. We've done four rounds. We're going to be doing one more. We do it every four days. If you want to do it six, six times in a 24-day period, even better. Knock those things back. We'll be doing another test to see how far we've knocked them back, and we might have to keep doing oxalic acid vapor more. Well, I love oxalic acid vapor because once you purchase the tool, it's very cheap. Um, it's still none of the treatments I've ever used, none of them. You can just use it by what's recommended and expect to get the exact control. There's too many variables, too many variables. I've seen it too many times. 
you'll, you'll do these four counties right here, and it might control three of them. You'll do them all the same way at the same time. And th these three right here will be washing a zero or a one, and that one on the left, for whatever reason, with the same treatment, will wash a four. And if you don't take care of that this time of the year, that could be a 12 going into winter for me, and that colony's toast. It might come out of winter, but it's not going to do anything for you. And if it comes down with viruses really hard, then they're very, very, very hard to fix. Mites, you can kill. Viruses, we have really nothing for at this point. So anyways, thanks for watching our videos. If you have any comments or questions on how to hammer those mites, leave them below.